Hope now can go work on the farms with Dad. That sounds fun. However, you're forgetting about secondary school. Oh really? Why? Do I really have to go? Yes, let me show you how lucky you are to go to secondary school. Ugh. It gets interesting, I promise. It all started around the time where the trade and democracy had come into power in Canada. You know, secondary school pretty much is an extension to primary school. Back in the day, classes were all given in one tiny school with all ages. Imagine K through 12 all in one room. That's a lot of people. Huh? They were all in the same class? Like, French and English people together? Well, the grades were all mixed up, but in 1875 and 1900, high school started becoming a separate building for the elementary ones. With this change, French Canadians had something called Collège Classique, a different school from English people's school. What's that? You know I don't speak French. It's a school that combines secondary and college education in an eight-year program. The first one opened in 1635 and lasted until the British conquest. They came back later, strictly for men and later for women. What? Girls didn't even have to go? Lucky? Mm, I think they were more lucky when Sister Saint Anne Marie came along. Who's that? She was so important in making higher education accessible for young women. In 1908, she established the first Collège Classique for French young women specifically. This helped young women to then pursue superior studies like university too. They couldn't do like the boys before. Whoa, I guess she's cool. So uh, how did the um, college whatever works? College classique, well, students would learn specific subjects that were chosen to help them enter university afterwards. They would learn Latin, Greek, philosophy, math and religion, because it was ruled by the Jesuits. After the Quiet Revolution, a big reform took over the educational system, and the Collège Classique were dissolved, leaving space for the Cégep. By the way, before that reform, education was controlled by the provincial governments. Wait, who was in charge before? Was it the teachers and the students? Actually, it was the religious state that was in charge. It was the church that decided what students like you would learn. Oh, did the church and the government decided to teach the same things? Ah, uh, no, no, not exactly. The church was very focused on educating the students on a specific religion, Christianity. The government was more interested in teaching topics outside of religion as well. They kept a little bit of religion though, even to this day. So right now, in secondary schools, students learn about ethics and religions from all around the world. Not just Christianity. Ah, uh, I have a friend who is a Muslim. Will I learn about his religion too? Oh, I'm sure you will. Oh, wow, my brain is full. That is so much information all at once. I know, let's check it out. Let's start. Fun fact, in 1964, there was no tuition to pay until grade 11. School was a privilege and cost money before that. Teacher, how's that a fun fact? Well, it was fun for me to share, so that equals fun fact. Haha! -ha. Um, would you tell me more? Yes, it's sad to know that the dropout rates were high for high school students. Why? People could stop going to school whenever they wanted? So cool! It's not so cool, no. In 1943, students could drop out at 14 years old. Some families had less money, so they couldn't send their kids to school. Today, in 2019, the age to drop out is 16, and tuition in secondary public school is free. You're lucky to have access to free secondary school. Oh, it really was a privilege to go to school, too. Correct. But still today, there is a high dropping out rate. For example, between 1988 and 2003, 63.1% of male students graduated and 78% of female students graduated. Okay, maybe I'll go to a secondary school. What else should I know first? Well, would you like to learn about polyvalent schools? Yeah! They came about in 1968. Secondary education was changing slowly, and two different programs were open for students to choose from. Either a five-year program for a general formation, or a program that specifies in industrial knowledge. With these changes, in 1985, 72% of students graduated from high school and were able to do more things in life. Oh, well, 
That is something to look forward to. Yes, it is. And now that we finally have the government's attention and we need to educate the people, they're finally starting to give us some money, especially in areas considered to be of national importance like agricultural education, vocational and technical training, and arts. Hey, do you remember earlier I told you about CEGEP came after the Collège Classique? Yeah, you didn't tell me much about CEGEPs. The creation of CEGEP really helped the dropout rate because it created an easier transition in between high school and university. It helps students to distribute out those types of schools. Wait, schools? CGEP and university? There's more studying to do after high school? Yes, but only if you decide to. There's different options available along the way. In Quebec, because of the CGEP, we only have high school from grade 7 to 11. I'm really scared of not being able to finish high school. Five years looks like a lot of work. What happens if I fail? Well, like I told you, there are a few options along the way. There's a testation and diplomas of vocational studies and training you can complete to go faster on the labor market. And you can also complete your high school diploma in more than five years and finish it in an adult school in different environments. And what does it look like nowadays? What can I expect? Well, you can expect to learn different subjects such as English, Math, Chemistry, Visual Arts, Theater, Robotics, and more. You will have to select a public or private school, and Montreal has one of the highest rate of students attending a private school with 30%. In Quebec, even if you have a low income in your household, the government has a pro rata subsidy, which means the tuition is adjusted accordingly. That is a lot of information. I hope I can make it. You know, I'm really anxious. Do you mind guiding me with some of your meditation tricks? Sure. Are you feeling relaxed? Not yet. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah. Well, remember, in the future, maybe high schools won't look like they do right now. We went from Calix school with one class to polyvalent that were exclusive to boys to what we have now. Maybe we'll see a big change. Maybe by going to these schools, you will bring the change. What? Me? Wait a second. Is this gonna be on the quiz? Don't be silly. It's summer. There's no more quizzes. Come on. Let's have a dance party. Yay! I believe in you. Secondary school will help you develop your identity and find your way in the world. I hope you find your passion. Whoa! Thanks for the lesson on secondary school teacher. I wish I could learn more about the history of Quebec, but I don't want to miss my bus. Well then, you will love high school. You know in secondary 3 and 4, you will learn all about the history of Quebec and Canada. What? No way! I can't wait to go to secondary school. Bye teacher, have a good summer.